So could the Milwaukee Bucks be trading away Damian Lillard to the Brooklyn Nets this 2024 NBA offseason? Well, here on the screen is a trade proposal or a trade idea for FadeAwayWorld.net. The link to this article is down below in case you want to check out the entire thing up for yourself. But this trade would see the Brooklyn Nets receiving Damian Lillard and the Milwaukee Bucks receiving Cameron Johnson, Dennis Schroeder, Dorian Finney-Smith, a 2025 first-round pick from the Suns, a 2027 first-round pick from the Suns, and a 2029 first round draft pick. So if this trade were to be happening, let's just say a couple months ago now, before the Nets traded away Mikhail Bridges, I would be all for it, right? It'd be a pretty good idea for the Nets to get a little bit better, uh, get a player that can play alongside uh, Mikhail Bridges and sort of go with that route uh, for the foreseeable future. But with Damian Lillard uh, not having Mikhail Bridges as a teammate in this scenario, it just doesn't make a lot of sense if you ask me for the Nets. Why would the Nets make that blockbuster deal with the uh, New York Knicks and then go around and trade, or turn around, I should probably say, and then trade for Damian Lillard? This doesn't make that much sense, in my personal opinion. At this point, the Nets are going into a bit of a rebuild, or I guess even a full-blown rebuild, if you want to consider it that. So trading away draft picks and good young players like Cam Johnson uh, for an aging Damian Lillard just doesn't make that much sense, in my personal opinion. So this trade would not happen at this point. Uh, maybe two months ago, it could have happened, but at this point in August, it just isn't possible. So if you're the Milwaukee Bucks, and you were somehow able to get back this draft capital return, as well as three roster players and Cam Johnson, a good young player getting better, and good veterans like Dennis Schroeder and Dorian Finney-Smith. I would be all for this, but as I mentioned before, with Mikaela Bridges going over to the Knicks uh, and this sort of indicating to Nets fans that they're going into a bit of a rebuild, it just won't happen or makes a lot of sense if you ask me. So the winner of this deal at this point, if I had to pick, would have to be the Bucks, no questions asked. But as always, leave your thoughts down below.